Hello, my name is Tobias Schwarz and I'm responsible for the product portfolio Restorative Dentistry at WH. Since there is more common awareness about the role of aerosols in infection transmission, we are receiving many questions. What's the right high speed handpiece to, to be used to reduce the formation of aerosol? Whether you use an air turbine or electric high speed handpiece, it's important to understand that the spray is needed to cool the treatment area to avoid thermal damage to vital teeth. How does the water spray affect the formation of potentially harmful aerosol? It's important to understand that the water as it comes from the handpiece is not infectious at all as long as the quality is ensured by the delivery system. Only when the water drop gets in contact with the patient, it could have absorbed germs and then spread as infectious aerosol. So, electric high-speed handpiece or air turbine. The amount of water spray produced by both kind of handpieces is basically the same. The difference is the burst speed that would have different acceleration effects on water drops once they hit the burr as well as different air velocities around the treatment area are having an effect as well. Air turbine handpieces are running approximately 400,000 RPM. Electric high-speed handpieces are operated at 200,000 RPM, so half the speed of air turbine handpieces, and that's the key. The intensity how particles are distributed is less. This is having a beneficial effect on the way how the aerosol is distributed into the operatory environment. No matter which high-speed handpiece you finally decide to use, there are many measures to reduce the risk of aerosols like the use of suction to achieve best aerosol absorption. For further information visit us on wnh.com or contact us directly. Stay safe and all the best.